Hello, my name's John Dexter and welcome. Um, this is going to be a little tutorial on um, a problem that I've had uh, and how I rectified it. Uh, I use Shotcut uh, to edit all my um, YouTube videos and I found on a couple of them that the when you come to export them uh, the actual vocals are not syncing with the video itself. It's only a tiny bit out, but it, it's a noticeable a bit about bleh, bleh. it's a noticeable amount. Um, so this is how I actually got over the problem. Uh, I did initially go on the websites and look at all the forums and. I'm not the only one who's had this problem, but their explanation for it was so confusing, um, or it, it was to me anyway, that I just didn't understand it. Um, but I did find a way around it. I must say that um, when you have your um, video in the timeline, and I'm actually going to open up my last video, which is this one, the actual vocals sync perfectly well with the video when you play it in the timeline. But as soon as you export it, something happens to it and um, the final result does not sync. So this is basically how I got over it. So what I've been doing is, first of all, I've got my finished timeline here and I will click on export. I will then click on, uh, I always use YouTube setting, but I'm sure this problem will happen on any of the settings that you're using, um, but I can't comment too much on that one. And when I come down and press ex export file, as I say, something happens and it doesn't sync. Now, I found out that Shotcut use your first frame, the very first frame in your video, as your settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my first frame separately, which is the intro, intro to my videos. And then I'm going to go, as I say, click on YouTube, go into advanced and you will see that they are using this first frame as the settings and they're saying frames per second is 25. Now if we come out of this and go into the video clip that has you speaking in that the problem is arising. So remember this is 25 frames per second and I will open up the uh, clip which has uh, me speaking in. Just pause that a minute. Now, if on export, again, we go to YouTube, click on advanced, you will see that this is 50 frames per second. So, there's your difference and this is how you rectify it. So what you want to do is have a look at what frames per second uh, your clip is where you're speaking and when you come to um, export the final video which I will uh, again open up my video what we want to do now Click on export, click on YouTube, go into advanced and change that from 25 to 50. And then click export and you will find now that when that uh, video is exported that the vocals are in perfect sync with the video. I hope you've understood this. I, I hope it's been helpful. Um, see if it works for you. Well, thank you very much for watching. As I say, I hope this really has helped you out. Um, it, it certainly worked for me anyway. So, um, yeah, if it has, please leave a like below. 
Um, if it hasn't, I apologise, um, but I'm only sort of telling you um, the way it was for me. Um, all my links uh, are below to my website and Instagram. Um, please take a look at my uh, uh, videos on ICM Abstract um, if you like. For those of you who subscribed, I thank you. And if you haven't, please consider doing so. Um, so until the next time, this is John Dexter saying bye for now.